so you got a tight envelope, obviously, which helps um, you know keep air from exchanging with other units. Um, and um, you know, use low VOC, no VOC, um, certified flooring, uh, drywall. Um, and I see you're, you know you've got a hood range. I assume is, is venting, mm -hmm. which is you know should be low hanging fruit. But we see still see some things that recirculate, right? So it's still sure. some projects mm -hmm. uh, that do that. So we always like to kind of point out that that's sort of an easy feature, right? To make sure you're venting that hood range. Sure. Yep. Um, but uh, you know, one thing that we think that is sort of the future, and that I was uh, when I came in here, I was really excited to see, and I want to hear more about is really the idea of air quality monitoring, mm -hmm. right? And being able to know for sure that what you did, did in fact, you know, make sure that the air is healthy and that folks can continue to monitor that and keep it, keep it healthier. So what, uh, what kind of technology and how does this system work? Uh, sure. So we've installed um, what's called a glass thermostat, GLAS, brand new from Johnson Controls. I think it came out about two months before we put it in. Okay. Um, as far as I know, we're the first people to use it. So how it works is, is it measure, measures air quality real time, then it communicates with the ventilation system in the furnace. And so it gives you the option, as, as you know, most times you'd ventilate based on a set schedule. Let's say, you know, you do some calculations, we've got to ventilate 10 minutes per hour, uh, 30 minutes per hour. What this does is it allows you to stop ventilating if your air quality is good or great. And by air quality, it measures three things, VOCs, carbon dioxide, and relative humidity. And so that covers a lot and it makes you uh, aware of your air quality, allows you to filter it and also helps you save energy by not you know, ventilating when you don't need to ventilate. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I've noticed that's really great about it is it makes you really just aware of things you might not otherwise think about affecting the air quality. So you know, if I turn on the, the fireplace, carbon dioxide levels will spike. Uh, and normally I wouldn't think about that. You know, you just think, oh great, I'm going to enjoy your fireplace and have a relaxing night, but you have to, you know, it makes you cognizant of the fact that it has a certain effect on your air quality. Um, it'd be the same thing with a gas stove. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the, the long and the short of it. Um, but your fireplace though is vented, right? This, this fireplace is direct vent, yeah. but I still think, you know, you're still burning some, you know, you're still burning oxygen, so. Right, right, yeah. So, um, when you approached this project, did you go into it thinking, yeah, we're going to come out with air quality monitoring, or was it just kind of jumped up and you're like, let's get that, or did you compare it to other products out there? Or? No, you know, from the beginning, I thought of, you know, how I wanted to, obviously I wanted to make it energy efficient because I really enjoy trying to build a better mousetrap. Mm -hmm. The other part of it is, you know, I really want a, a place where people can live better. It's actually you know, one of our taglines is to live better. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the, the happy, um, you know, mutually beneficial relationship is that to make a home energy efficient, it also ends up being healthier because you only have the air coming out of the unit that you, that you want. And so I kind of just added upon that, you know, or stacked on that thinking, okay, well, to make this place really healthy, I can, you know, I'm going to seal it tight. I'm already going to have really good control on the air quality or, or the air that's in and out. Uh, what else can I do to make the air quality bring it to the next level? Mm -hmm. And so that's where uh, the glass thermostat came in. Um, you know, uh, I'm always reading like industry publications and, and uh, the latest developments. And I read about that and I thought it was perfect mm -hmm. uh, for what we we're trying to do here, which is again, you know, make a place um, healthier to live. And so one thing we did is we provided fresh air vents to every bedroom. Mm -hmm. So you've got uh, direct fresh air uh, ducting to every bedroom and you can adjust that um, to just the bedrooms or the whole unit or any combination of the two. Mm -hmm. uh, we did it for a custom build out in, in Logan Square and the couple actually said unprompted, I didn't ask them, they just came to me and said, you know, we can really tell uh, that we're getting this fresh air because we wake up kind of feeling, you know, yeah. more refreshed. So that was interesting. Hmm. Um, and I know uh, you were telling me a, a story about um, just sort of the, the effectiveness of this, right? Somebody had kind of come in and maybe use the wrong... Yeah, thing. yeah. So another thing that it makes you really aware of, we had, you know, we're preparing for this. We just had a, a tour. We were showing the, the unit to dozens of people. And so, you know, probably the day, two days before, two days ago, we had somebody come through uh, and kind of touch up all the paint. Then, you know, the air quality level for the past two weeks has been great. You know, we kind of got the system down and figured out the right balance of you know minimum ventilation and things like that, and then I noticed the next day it was it was spiking. So our VOCs were spiking, and you know that was the only thing that had changed. 
So sure enough, I go down and check the, the can of paint he used because it was, it was you know, different from the paint we used throughout the process. Mm -hmm. um, and it was low VOC as opposed to no VOC. And he painted, he painted the wall directly around the thermostat. And so that's causing, still, that was just two days ago. And so probably for the next maybe seven to 14 days, I think we're gonna see uh, a VOC spike. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna come back down once the paint's finished drying. Mm -hmm. um, does this uh, have a setting? I mean, is it kind of user has to determine what they want to do or are there sort of settings that are automated so if it gets to a certain level right they can have it automate and start ventilating more or a little bit of both yeah that's a great question so it does have a ton of options so mm -hmm. there's something called um they call it, i think it's smart circulation and smart ventilation mm -hmm. so it communicates with two pieces of equipment it communicates with the furnace and the fresh air ventilator the erv in this case right so you can choose to have it you know stop ventilating or stop running the furnace fan uh, when the air quality gets to good or great. And so that's an option on there. You can, you can toggle those on and off. Mm. The other option is to set a minimum hourly ventilation anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes. And so, and you can choose to have that, uh, basically ignore that minimum ventilation when the air quality is good or great using those toggle switches. Or you can turn those off and say, no matter what, I want it to ventilate 30 minutes out of every hour. And you can kind of you know, adjust that as you see fit. Mm. Um, and is that control the heating and cooling as well? Mm -hmm. as it, so it's all yep. in one? Yeah, it's all in one. have two different things to look at. No, no, no yeah, yeah, that's what makes um, it easy. So being in an urban setting, you know, obviously they say you know, indoor air quality is always worse than outdoors. Sure. But we know in some cases, outdoor air quality is getting worse for various reasons mm -hmm. before it gets better. Yeah. Um, so does that system or do you have systems in place to help protect against any bad air coming in? Yeah. Well, the nice thing about this thermostat actually, it measures outdoor air quality as well. Okay. And so community, you know, it's hooked up to the internet, of course. And so it communicates um, with the, the publicly available measures of air quality. Mm. And so it can sense that as well. And so the ERV has the option to, or the fresh air ventilator has the option to add um, a filter, essentially a, a higher quality filter that filters out more, um, more of the particles or the particulates that you might get mm -hmm. when the surrounding outdoor air quality gets worse. Okay. So you do have the option to, it does monitor outdoor air quality and take that into account as well. Um, so great, yeah, so I guess, uh, you know, What's next for you all? Are you doing anything else cool that's coming up you can tell us about? And then where can people go to find out more information about Point B Properties? Great, yeah. Uh, they can go to pointbproperties.com or pointbp.com to find out more information. Um, upcoming stuff we have, uh, it's mostly going to be uh, more multi-unit. Uh, we have a church rehab coming up where we're turning the church into apartments. Okay. Um, and then we have probably a, like a mid-rise apartment complex where We'll be doing a lot of more of the same. Um, the next big area we're going to be focused on is sleep quality. So we'll be automating, um, you know, like uh, blackout shades, hmm. um, the lighting. And so basically mimicking, um, you know, kind of 300 years ago when all we had was campfires and, and darkness. So there's studies that show when they bring people out to these, uh, these environments, basically out in the wilderness, all they have is campfires and they just, they let them go to bed whenever they want. But of course, naturally, without devices and so they end up going to bed, you know, a little bit after sunset. Right. And so the thought behind that is to mimic um, that environment because anybody that had sleep issues before that, everybody uh, got rid of their sleep issues after being out in, uh, in nature for about two weeks. Sure. So through lighting, um, uh, adjusting the color temperature of light, so you're not looking at any daylight past sunset, um, all the lights essentially mimic uh, a fire and then by blocking all light and sound at night, um, vastly improved sleep quality. So that's kind of the next focus. And of course, we're going to keep improving upon the air quality. Mm -hmm. So is that um, kind of like blue light killer, kind of like everything? Blue just light killer. Trendy now, right? right, right, right. But it'll all be automated, right? Yeah. So you've all got it. It'll adjust everything with the sunset. Yeah. Um, and then, like, of course, blackout again, all the like external light. The light pollution out yeah. yeah. And that's another problem that's, you know, particularly um, acute in cities right and so a lot of stuff we do is focus on you know the urban environment right yeah well great thanks for having us out all right yeah be sure to check out all of our courses available online that you can watch anytime and anywhere to pick up your ceus